into the bus from behind, from the back door, one from the front door. They encountered the victim, one punched him, one shot him. The victim uh, was hit twice, once in the abdomen and once in the hand. The victim was transported to the hospital. Uh, we don't have his condition currently, uh, but we'll be having that information uh, in a short time to confirm. The suspects were wearing ski masks, so we don't have a, a, a race or a positive identity, and we don't have any further information on the vehicle. But we are working video sources, so we may find that information out uh, shortly. Any questions? Uh, no one else was hit. There was other passengers on the bus. The uh, bus driver at the time of the shooting was distraught uh, and came here, 1800 uh, South Derry Ashford, and then stopped. Uh, everybody else that was on the bus left the scene, so we don't actually have any other witnesses. Uh, we are talking to one witness uh, that was with the victim at the time. Are there cameras on the bus, sir? Or yes, we do. Those, those cameras have not been downloaded yet, so we don't have that information. I'm sorry? How far away are we talking about this happening into another street when the bus stopped? Yeah, the, the original stop was uh, 1800 Enclave Parkway, so we're talking about two and a half miles maybe. The way you described it, Lieutenant, it mm -hmm. sounds 100% like an ambush, a targeted hit. Well, 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 we're not prepared to, to say that right now. We're, we're still investigating. Ski masses going on. You don't believe sure. this person was targeted? We're not going to make that assumption right now. Can you give us an age range? Uh, we don't know the exact age of the uh, individual that was shot, uh, but between 17 and 19, I would imagine. Yeah, so we don't know if he's alive or not. What his condition is? No, he is alive, sure. Alive. Yes. We don't know his exact condition, no. I'm sorry? The back of the bus obviously was well, uh, How did they get on the back of the bus? no, like I said earlier, the bus was making a stop. Once the bus makes a stop, both doors are, are open, yes. Got it, got it. That being said, if you're not sure that this person was targeted, essentially what you're telling the community, Lieutenant, is two men got out of a vehicle with ski masks on and a gun, shot somebody on a Houston Metro bus, then got off. So potentially, if are a danger to everyone else in the city? Not at all. That's that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that it's under investigation right now, so we can't determine whether the, whether they knew each other or whether this was up in data or anything like that. We're not prepared to say that right now. Should people who get on Metro buses today be fearful? Absolutely not. Based on what? How can you say that? Uh, based on the fact that this is not a usual occurrence, uh, which is why we have so much attention on it right now. Metro buses are safe. As a matter of fact, some of the safest in the country. Um, so Do we know how many people there were in the bus? I don't have an exact count, no. Where's, what's the status of the story? Obviously, the chopper on the way. I mean, we don't have a, a real good description of the vehicle right now, so it's you know kind of hit or miss. But once we get all of the video in, we may have better information on that. The nice thing is, is these buses are equipped with video cameras. Like 99% of them, yes ma'am. The difficulty seems to be downloading the video. Can you walk me through the process of that right now? Uh, for these particular buses, once they get close to the facility, it automatically downloads. So once we release this bus from the scene, we'll drive it back there and it'll automatically download and then we'll get the video. How long do you expect the bus to be here for processing before you do that? Uh, I, I don't have a definite time period right now, but like I said, we have other video that we're looking at and that's where we got the information that we have now. And to be absolutely clear with what you said, because I don't want to... So essentially, a, this happened uh, along the way on Enclave Parkway. The yes, bus driver made the safe stop here, and essentially everybody that was on the bus immediately ran out. Yes, ma'am. In different directions. Yes, ma'am. So there's a total of three stops. There's the first stop when the guys got on the bus. Bus driver, did, did it all happen at that stop, or did he start to pull off and stop the second time? After the shooting. No, there's there's two locations. Just there's two locations. Yeah. Here and then the one down. Yes, there. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, we're taking care of her right now, and and yes, yeah, she was obviously upset and distraught, and you know she did the right thing by moving the location, of course. To the people who will be watching the news tonight because they experienced this and have yet to come forward. To the people who were on the bus, you say what, sir? 
Yes, we are taking uh, any witnesses that were on the bus at the time. Of course, any information uh, will be valuable to us, so uh, those people can come forward. I know uh, the ones that came off the bus were probably upset. Uh, once they calm down, get their thoughts together, please reach out to us. Uh, and this being so rare, is this something you all anticipate? Is this something drivers prepare for, a shooting on a bus? Well, we have to obviously prepare for everything because we don't know uh, what's going to happen, but uh, we don't prepare specifically for shootings on the bus, but this is an emergency situation, and we prepare for all emergency situations and pretty much react to them the same. First time you've ever seen something like this in your career with Metro? It's not, no. It's not? Say how long it's been since something like this has happened? I don't have that information right now, and, and I don't really want to speculate. What's the hospital was the injured taken to? Uh, I don't want to give that information out either. One so far. And you're the lead agency on this? Yes.